What was difficult for Bill was any word of more than two syllables. <laughs> <laughs> so that if you... Um, that was a big problem because they were kind of interchangeable. And my first episode, he had, when he invited me to join the TARDIS family and we went out of the wrecked shape, um, spaceship together, uh, and the line was, um, this will be your first exploration, my dear. Mm. And he said, this will be your first exploitation, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he had a... <laughs> There was one love about, I can't remember what it was, but in the sequence we've just seen, it's the one I hadn't remembered, probably because I was so tied up in uh, in doing what I was doing. Uh, but Maureen's right, an awful lot was made of his shortcomings. I only remember four or five, and I've told them many times, but they, they were all, there, there, were, there wasn't more than that. And so, yes, uh, an awful lot more is made of it than sin. But he was such a perfectionist as an actor. He really wanted to get it right. And uh, the, 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 knowing that he was struggling with his lines, that was the, when he became irritable with people <laughs> around him. Never with me, never with Maureen, never, I think, with, with any of the, the close companions that, uh, that were around or the people who, who were regularly in it. And, of course, we had a marvellous director with, with Richard in that, and I, I particularly did like the, the London sequence, which I think was directed by Dougie Canfield. Oh, was it? Yeah. Dougie. I believe so. There uh, you go. We had, some, we had some really great young directors that they were trying out, you know. They were getting that big chance. Mm. Um, but the thing about Bill is that Doctor Who was his part. It was his role, you know. And he was absolutely passionate about the way it should be. The way it should be dressed, the mm. posture, the, everything about it was, um, had to be right. And anything that kind of um, took away from it being right, he could get very angry about. Um, if anyone wanted him to compromise in any way, he got very angry. Mm. And of course, he was homophobic and um, he wasn't misogynistic, was he? But he did, say, he did say to me one day in this very angry way, my wife washes my underwear every day. <laughs> well, maybe he was still in it. <laughs> <laughs> Bearing the terrible teeth, you know, like this. and um, I mean hilarious things like that. But he, but he loved. He was, I don't know. He was playful and he was endearing, and he he loved his fellow actors. Yeah. A lot of other things he didn't love and got very angry about every day, several times a day. But um, and as I've said before, it was my job. I quickly realised to laugh him out of these sudden rages, you know, that was quite easy to do. And, um, well, I only saw the very end of this episode, but you can see what the relationship was between me and him. I mean, it's there, it's, uh, it's, it's on the screen, and that was, that was the relationship. I mean,